Welcome and thank you for joining us at our Daily Bread Ministries for this evening's meditative podcast. Tonight, we're reflecting on the freedom God gives us from sin when we confess it. As we begin, calm your heart by taking some deep breaths. Try to get as comfortable as possible. Today is finished. It is time to hand its joys and its burdens to the Lord. Come now as you are and surrender yourself to his mighty power and love at work within you. Be still and dwell in his word of life and hope. Father, as I draw near to you tonight, please search my heart and show me anything I need to confess. I long to freely rest in your presence, knowing your love and forgiveness. Ezra 9, 5-6 and 15 says, I rose from my self-abasement with my tunic and cloak torn. I fell on my knees with my hands spread out to the Lord my God and prayed, I am too ashamed and disgraced, my God, to lift up my face to you, because our sins are higher than our heads and our guilt has reached to the heavens. Lord, the God of Israel, you are righteous. We are left this day as a remnant. Here we are before you in our guilt, though because of it, none of us can stand in your presence. Ezra tore his clothes threw himself on the floor and wept. What had happened? The Israelites had finally returned home from exile, but the people, including the leaders and priests, had been intermarrying with their idol-worshipping neighbours. Weeping over marriages might seem like a huge overreaction, but the people were rejecting God himself. Historically, marrying into idolatrous nations was what first led them astray as they soon adopted the foreign gods, morals, laws and cultures. Ezra was devastated to see God's people turning to walk down that path again. Ezra saw sin, all sin, for what it really is. Big or little, secret or public, any rejection of God makes us guilty and unable to stand in his holy presence. His earnest, sorrowful prayer allowed him to grieve before the Lord, peeling back sin's attractive packaging and seeing the damage it causes. Are there sinful and damaging things in your life that you are growing comfortable with. Use this time to ask God to help you see it as he does, so you can grieve with him, reject it, and find freedom and joy in his inexhaustible grace. As we turn to prayer, Breathe deeply, working out any tension through long, slow exhales. The presence of the Lord is a place of rest and peace. Do this breathing exercise to relax your body, refocus your heart, and become aware of the presence of our Almighty God, who promises to hear every word on our lips and in our hearts. 
Breathe in and out. And in and out. And in and out. Let's pray. Dear Lord, bring to my mind now the sin I need to confess, big or little, realized or unrealized, for I want to be free from it all through your grace. Lord God, thank you that you don't hold my sin against me. You have defeated it all through Jesus' death on the cross. I bring him my thanks and praise in this moment of quiet. One John one eight to nine says. If we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just, and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Let's close with a final prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for your promise to forgive all sin, even the things I am most ashamed of. All of it is dealt with on the cross forever. May I sleep in joyful peace, knowing I am covered and cleansed by Jesus' death and resurrection. Amen.